The next pillar is the pillar of recognising complexity. Remember um, what I said before about um, organisational plasticity, nothing's black or white, it's quite grey. Well, complexity also adds in the shifting knowledge that is generated over time. So things that are correct today might not be correct tomorrow. Things that are evidenced um, scientifically based today might not be that way tomorrow. And the Diagnostic Statistics Manual is a perfect example of that because what we see is, uh, you know, many of the disorders that are listed in the Diagnostic Statistics Manual today weren't there in the previous edition. So things change all the time. There are also things that are no longer mental health diagnoses that used to be mental health diagnoses. So things continuously change and we need to um, stay informed and go from simplistic approaches to informed um, and updated information. So get expert help and get the right education and always question everything because it might not be true. The thing that you believed for many, many years may no longer be true. Years ago, there was a thing called Critical Incident Stress Debriefing by Jeffrey Mitchell, the Mitchell model of uh, debriefing after critical incidents. It was held up as the gold standard for responding after a traumatic incident in the workplace. And so for certainly in Australia in the Defence Force, this was rolled out. Um, many organisations like hospitals and schools would do the same kind of model but then within about 10 years of me learning that process, which was 1996, by, by the mid-2000s, nobody was doing it anymore because it had been discovered that it was actually potentially harmful, that at best it didn't do anything positive and at worst it was actually making people unwell. So always question everything because there is complexity in information um, and Having awareness is not enough. You need to be able to apply that awareness as well. So the questions that we have here for you are, are you understanding those different filters for mental health? Do you proactively seek out and learn more about mental health and well-being? And probably another question there is, am I asking enough questions? Am I constantly checking to see whether what I believe to be true is true or still true? From an organisational perspective, you're doing great on this count because, you know, things like is education being provided by subject matter experts? Um, do you, uh, how well do managers balance the needs of the individuals versus the needs of the business? And really from a collaborative approach, when you are meeting the needs of the individual and the needs of the business, you'll find that that becomes a symbiotic relationship anyway and produces greater results in both. Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week. So when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.